What is aspect ratio? This is also what the girl is thinking about. Assume what you just saw from the man is a rectangular penis. The aspect ratio, or AR, is going to be the ratio of its length and its width. This also applies to airplanes with rectangular wings. There is another equation to calculate aspect ratio. The aspect ratio equals the wingspan square divided by the reference area of the wing. Although the results are going to be exactly the same, but you know, penises in real life are not a rectangular. They can be different shapes, which don't allow you to just look for length and width. So as wings. The reason why we only use this equation in aerospace is because wings in real life can be in so many different shapes. This is a graph of leaf coefficient against angle of attack. The shape of the wing can affect the leaf performance. Let's say the wing of this plane is having aspect ratio of 5, and compare to this glider with aspect ratio of 30. Because their wing area are exactly the same, the glider is having longer wingspan and shorter cord length than the other planes. This makes the glider have smaller vortex generated at the wing tip, which means the glider is having lower induced drag and higher speed. And higher speed means more lift. This is one of the reasons why gliders can fly stably for a super long distance and descend slowly without propulsion. The lower aspect ratio plane on the other hand, is less stable and more maneuverable. If we compare the high aspect ratio wing to the low aspect ratio wing, high aspect ratio wing will be harder to build, because when both wings subject to same load, the long wing has higher bending stress than the short wing. Therefore, the long wing requires more structural design, or go with stronger, lighter, and more expensive material. By the way, besides the aspect ratio equation we already have, there's another equation which is called weighted aspect ratio, because it only calculates the wing areas without the portion inside the fuselage, weighted aspect ratio is more accurate in aerospace. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave the comment below, it will be very helpful. Thank you for watching.